Henry Sachs has a solid academic background. Fine Arts graduate from the Sir George William University, now Concordia University, and Fine Arts School of Montreal, now the Université du Québec à Montréal, the artist puts a lot of effort into an art form full of movement and spontaneity. So, this, the paintings were very spontaneous? Since the 1960s, Henry Sachs devotes himself to sculpture. Metal is his favorite material. In his studio, located near Kingston, Ontario, he cuts, engraves, and assembles materials that are mostly manufactured. In these complex structures, the idea of potential movement is omnipresent, but always not expressed. Uh, it's a reflection to my past in Quebec, where I really got my education in art. Sachs does not want to emphasize mechanization in his works. He attempts to create mental images without any reference to a specific era of industrialization. There's a couple of pieces in the show, they're called Belmont Park, Park Belmont. <laughs> well, as a child, I used to go there to Cartierville and we'd take all the rides in the amusement park. Mm -hmm. And I had such fun, I said, I got to think of fond memories back to that. And uh, the basis of most of my sculpture in the past 25 years are based on interlocking disc rings of odd shapes, but are basically circles in, re in relation to Borman rings. And I tried to make them in dimension. And uh, the reference is there with the color and the uh, Park Belmont. His recent works are aluminium surfaces that are cut, engraved, polished and painted. They are drawings on aluminium enhanced with paint. They seem like paintings. You could call them non-figurative paintings on aluminium. The artist was inspired by abstract expressionist painters and Quebec automatist painters he has personally known and admired. The titles of some of his works are revealing. Hommage à Bordua, Tribute to Bordua, and Hommage à Riopel, Tribute to Riopel. And, uh, and all the paint people that are implicated in this exhibition, they have very, very strong memories and fond admiration for these people. And, uh, as it turned out, I decided to use some color on some panels that further develop my work, and I decided to make it homage to uh, the Quebec painters. Henry Sachs took part in several major exhibitions in Canada and abroad, including the Paris Biennale 1963 and 1968, the Venice Biennale in 1978, and the Saint Jour d'Art Contemporain de Montréal in 1985. Furthermore, the Montreal Contemporary Art Museum presented a retrospective in 1994. Recipient of the Paul Emile Bordois Prize in 1994, the highest distinction awarded to a visual artist by the Quebec government, Henry Sachs pursues a solitary and very coherent artistic career, stamped with an out-of-the-ordinary research about the forms and the volumes he puts into contact. And I live in memories and I find the show a little bit nostalgic, but I said, I'm give a damn. <laughs> so what?